Good morning, children. How are you all? Hope you all are doing great at home. I am Shruti, your English tutor. Today, children, in this session, I am going to teach you how to write a dictation. Say, suppose when somebody is giving you a dictation, you might get confused. How to write? How to decode it? What are the spellings? As I am dealing with synthetic phonics, let me teach you how to decode the letter sounds and how to write dictation. Are you all ready children? Come on, let us learn how to segment the sounds and make a word or form a word. Segmenting, blending. As I have already used this word in your regular class, segmenting and blending, let me give you a clear picture what exactly segmenting is and what exactly blending is. Okay children, imagine your teacher is giving you dictation. How do you write it? The teacher giving dictation or whatever the words you are reading, this is called blending. Okay, blending is very useful while reading. Segmenting is very useful while writing. Okay, let me just show you an example. The example placards, I have done it like this. Say suppose you have the word called jug. You have the word called jug. Your teacher is giving you a dictation of the word jug. So your teacher is telling you to write the word jug. But you do not know how to write the word jug. What do you have to do? You have to segment it. You have to segment it. What did I do? I elasticated the word jug. Your teacher told you to write jug. But you do not know what are the spellings which is there in the word jug. So what you have to do? You have to elasticate it. So when you elasticate a word, you will be able to find out what are the letter sounds involved in this word. So in the word jug, what are the words involved or what are the spellings involved in the word jug when you elasticated it? When you blended, it was jug. When you elasticated it, it was jug. Jug. So, by this, you may understand segmenting is nothing but reading the same word in a slow phase. Okay, children, read the same word in a slow phase wherein you'll be able to hear each and every sound in that word. That is called segmenting. Okay, let me show you one more word. Say, suppose... Your teacher is giving you the dictation of the word man or imagine your teacher is telling you to write the word man. The teacher is giving a blended word that is man. She has blended it. Blending. Man. 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 But you do not know how to write the word man. What do you have to do? Man. Elasticated or segmented. How does it, what, how do you read now? Man. 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 Are you understanding children? So, when your teacher is giving you the dictation of the word called man, she just did blending and she dictated. So, when you are writing, you have to segment it or you have to elasticate it in your mind by reading the same word again and again in a slow phase. So, it is man, man. Okay, children. Let me show you one more example. The words which has more letter sounds in it, you may get confused how to write don't get confused. It is very as simple as these words. Okay. Say suppose your teacher has told you to write the word step. 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 
how do you write step so imagine or segment the word in your mind segmenting is nothing but elasticate the word or slow down the phase of reading so the word step this is the word your teacher has dictated that is step so how do you segment it step 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 so it becomes step the word step has four letter sounds that is st e step are you understanding children so this segmenting is very very useful while writing a word while reading what you have to do you have to blend it this is called blending and this is called segmenting so while reading how do you have to read children step while writing st e step so shall we write the word step on the board now or in your book now e step okay children now the word which i have written on the board is as simple as these words come on let us segment it and read e g m e n t e n g how is it children come on let us read it once again e g m e n t e n g that is segmenting when we blend it or while reading it what how do we have to read segmenting segmenting okay the word blending is also as simple as these words come on shall we read it once by deco what by segmenting it b l e n d e n d these two sounds as one that is n mm, in the upcoming days i will teach you okay so if you read this if you just leave it like that let us take this word b l e n d r segmenting into sounds let us read it without segmenting let us just blend it and read this blend blend shall i give you some more examples children so that it will be very clear to you come on let us move on to examples say suppose the word like frog children when a, when your teacher is dictating you to write the word frog how do you segment it listen to the word carefully and try to decode it or try to segment it according to its sound okay the word frog has frog try to segment it frog the word frog 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 okay children the next word left left take left and go straight is the word okay so how do you decode it children left the word left left you have to repeat yourself in a very slow end or in a very slow pace then you will understand or then you will come to know how many letter sounds are there in the word left come on all of us let's try to repeat the word in a very slow phase come on all of you say the word left left what are the sounds you hear children left say once again left 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 let me take one more word like desk come on say it slowly desk 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 
desk. Now you may get confused whether to write this desk or desk or desk. Which is the correct spelling of desk. Hope you all are facing the same confusion in your mind. See, desk, desk, desk. Which desk is correct? Recall yourself, recall inside all the rules whichever I have taught you already. For letter k, 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 k. What are the rules? Short vowel and both the letters together. When does kicking k come? When does curly k come? All these rules you have to recall. When you have one short vowel and very next to that if you have k sound just like Duck, duck. Come on, duck. segment duck children. Duck, 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 duck. Which is the correct spelling here? Duck or duck or duck. Which is the correct spelling? See, whenever you have k sound in a word, take a pause. Think. If you have only one short vowel and very next to that if you have k sound both kicking curly k and kicking k will come together then you have a short vowel and next to it if you have a consonant between k sound and short vowel if you have a consonant then you have to take only kicking k okay and see coming to cur curling k I'll explain you when this comes. Okay? This don't bother right now. I'll explain. I have already explained you when this kicking curve comes at end. When you have short vowel and a consonant in the middle. Then you have k sound. Then only kicking curve will come. When you have a short vowel and k sound, then both kicking curve uh, and kicking curve will come. Okay, these are the some of the very simple rules which you can recall. Or if it is if k sound is at the beginning, what do you do, children? You make a picture of a cat. A cat has two eyes, one nose, and a mouth. Isn't it? And kicking curve. Kicking curve will be having e and a as its friend, and yeah, also a partial vowel. Okay, so this is the picture which you have to write at your margin. So that it will be very clear which to take. Okay. Say suppose you have a word called buzz. The buzzing sound of honeybees. Buzz. As I have already explained you the flaws rule. I have already explained you the flaws rule children. Whenever you hear sound at last. What are those? L, s, and z. When you hear any one of the sound at last and if you have only one short vowel then you are going to double these four letters. Say suppose the word is buzz. Come on. Segment this word buzz children. Segment is nothing but say it slowly. Buzz. 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 So this is how you segment it. Buzz. It's buzz. Okay. When you have short vowel and any one of the sound, l, s, or z, what are you going to do? You are going to double these four letters if it is followed by a short vowel. So, what must be the spelling of buzz, children? Buzz. 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 Full. Call. All these comments come under the same rule. Okay, children. Now, shall I give you some more dictation? Are you all ready with your book and pencil? Come on. Take down the first word. Gap. Gap. How do you write the word gap, children? Come on, segment it first. Gap. 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 What are the three sounds you hear here in this word? G. Gap. Segment it children. Segment the word gap. 
gap 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 okay let me give you the next word kiss kiss segmented kiss 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 so the word is kiss is it a correct spelling children when you have short vowel and any one of these four sounds then you are going to excuse me then you are going to double it so it becomes kiss okay the next word is bang 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 let me give you grip 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 see ya grip grip and you're flowing to following children do you have any more doubts in this if you have any more doubts please do get back to me i'm happy to help you thank you